I hope the employers are watching. Mm -hmm. Taking notes, screenshots of the individuals that potentially work for them. And now they're rioting on the streets, beating up random individuals on the basis of the colour of their skin. Hmm? A Muslim guy just got dragged out of his car and uh, stabbed. There's been a stabbing outside my son's flat as well. I won't be surprised it's linked. Although I don't know if there's any riots going on in Norwich, but people are so, well, mad. Stark, raving, bonkers. Let's stop making excuses for them. Let's try to make it out that is, oh, society, problems in society, what have you. The problem in society, these people are flipping racist bigots. White supremacists. I just, I'm embarrassed. I really am embarrassed, ashamed. I don't want to call myself English, I really don't. Can, I, can, I, can, I, can, I, can you call me Scottish, please? I'm not Scottish, but can somebody adopt me? I don't... I, I just... I, I don't know. Quite lost for words, really. We've got the police being attacked. Mm -hmm. And then a whole swarm of these thugs come in, helping those other thugs beat up the police. Individuals being dragged out of their cars and stabbed, like I said. And this. No black guy getting beaten up. Okay. It looks like the actual... The white geese have got um, more than they uh, asked for. But still. The whole swarm of them starts pounding in as well until the police turned up. See, the thing is, we ain't got enough police. We can't deal with that amount of people. We just can't. But people, <laughs> that's a loose term. Thugs. They need locking up in a zoo where they belong. I just, I'm just, I'm really disgusted actually. I am absolutely flabbergasted about what's going on and how easy it is to rile up the masses just because a few individuals <sighs> pretty much such, well, Individuals, one in particular, really, Nigel Farage, is inciting this. Clearly, inciting this violence. I just. I don't, I don't know. The thing is, you see, if these people are complaining because there ain't enough facilities, you know, to cope with all these people, we're full up, they say. You can't get a pint in a half pint pot, they go. Well, at least that used to be my dad's phrase. Yes, he was a Nigel Farage supporter. Madman. <laughs> Sorry, I was my dad, but still. Crazy man. But the fact of the matter is, you ain't gonna have any infrastructure, ain't no money. If there ain't no money, hmm, why ain't got no money? Well, various reasons, no reason, is who the hell is gonna visit the UK when they say this going on? The tourism industry is going to be completely, uh, at least, shocked. It's struggling enough as it is at the moment because they can't get staff. Now, they're going to be able to get tourists. Now, would you visit that? Hmm? Unless you watch some sort of, I don't know, sadly masochistic, uh, well, voyeur sport or something, I don't know. It's just... I, I, it's, it's flabbergasting, it's absolutely flabbergasting, it's shameful, and it's kind of, it shows the country in such a bad light. And these people, they say that they are nationalist, you know, um, patriotic, they say, they say they're patriotic. There's nothing patriotic about behaving like this. Is there? No, of course there isn't. It's madness. Absolute madness. And it's... Painful to see. It really is painful to see. People you might have thought were good, decent people are out on the streets rioting. People you might have shared a point with. Not literally, but, yeah, OK. Uh, would you share a point with? Oh, I had, sh had a point with. You know, it's... And you've got individuals on the side there just videoing it because, like, someone kind of, you know, oh, stick it on YouTube. No one helping. No one, you know... 
It's just like, I've said it so many times, now he's never gets I saw her in another video with his prop and his little microphone and stuff whizzing around. Look at him. Just jobs. Okay, you got a right hook there, but it's okay, good. The police don't know what's going on and they're hitting the victims with a baton. Hmm? Now, shoot me down in flames if you like. Maybe. Nigel, not the House of Houses, um, Boris Johnson's. <sighs> Water cannons might have been a very good thing to have right now. Yeah, that and rubber bullets. Something. The police need more than what they've got. There ain't enough of them to deal with this. And this is happening all over the country now. In the wake of those poor little kid, girls, you know, who were murdered by one individual. And they're still going around saying he was a Muslim. He wasn't a Muslim. The police made that quite clear. He wasn't a Muslim. They say he's an immigrant. He came in on the boats. He did come on the boats. He was born in England. It doesn't take much, does it? You know, to see that little headline, to put the idea in these lunatics' heads. Because they ain't not going on up there, or they're just hateful. These people are just looking for a fight. They don't even believe in the cause. They're just looking for a fight. They're thugs. I think Keir Starmer's got one hell of a job on his hands. And he's going to have to nip it in the bud, and he's going to have to come down hard. No choice. There really isn't. What do you reckon? Toodaloo.